Lime mortar is composed of lime and an aggregate such as sand, mixed with water. The ancient Egyptians were the first to use lime mortars. About 6,000 years ago, they used lime to plaster the pyramids at Giza. In addition, the Egyptians also incorporated various limes into their religious temples as well as their homes. Indian traditional structures built with lime mortar, which are more than 4,000 years old like Mohenjo-Daro is still a heritage monument of Indian civilization. It is one of the oldest known types of mortar also used in ancient Rome and Greece, when it largely replaced the clay and gypsum mortars common to ancient Egyptian construction. With the introduction of Portland cement during the 19th century, the use of lime mortar in new constructions gradually declined. This was largely due to the ease of use of Portland cement, its quick setting, and high compressive strength. However, the soft and porous properties of lime mortar provide certain advantages when working with softer building materials such as natural stone and terracotta. For this reason, while Portland cement continues to be commonly used in new constructions of brick and concrete construction, in the repair and restoration of brick and stone built structures originally built using lime mortar, the use of Portland cement is not recommended. Despite its enduring utility over many centuries, lime mortar's effectiveness as a building material has not been well understood. Time-honored practices were based on tradition, folklore and trade knowledge, vindicated by the vast number of old buildings that remain standing. Only during the last few decades has empirical testing provided a scientific understanding of its remarkable durability. Lime mortar today is primarily used in the conservation of buildings originally built using lime mortar, but may be used as an alternative to ordinary Portland cement. It is made principally of lime, hydraulic, or non-hydraulic, water and an aggregate such as sand. Portland cement has proven to be incompatible with lime mortar because it is harder, less flexible, and impermeable. These qualities lead to premature deterioration of soft, historic bricks so the traditionally, low-temperature fired, lime mortars are recommended for use with existing mortar of a similar type or reconstruction of buildings using historically correct methods. In the past, Lime mortar tended to be mixed on site with whatever sand was locally available. Since the sand influences the color of the lime mortar, colors of pointing mortar can vary dramatically from district to district. Lime is commonly available in the United States as type S hydrated mason's lime ASTM C207. However, this lime product is intended to be added to Portland cement to improve workability and for several other reasons. Type S lime is not reliable as a sole cement because some manufacturers fire the lime above 1100 degrees Celsius which begins to cause vitrification of impurities in the lime. This overburned lime is sometimes called dead burned because lime fired at these temperatures loses reactivity leading to poor or no bond strength and will not hold up to freeze thaw weather cycles. The combination of Portland cement and lime is used for stabilization and solidification of the ground through establishing of lime cement columns or stabilization of the entire upper mass volume. The method provides an increase in strength when it comes to vibrations, stability and settling. When building for example roads and railways, the method is more common and widespread. Queen Euphemia Street in Central Oslo, E18 at Tonsberg etc.